As protests continue across the nation, thousands of people made their way to historic West Las Vegas for a different sort of event tonight. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. It was called the We Deserve to Live rally, and it happened at Kionga Isoki Palacio Park, which used to be known as Doolittle Park. 8 News Now reporter Joe Moeller is there with more on tonight's event. Joe? Uh, good evening to you too. Yeah, this event wrapped up around nine o'clock uh, just a few hours ago. This was different than the protests we've covered throughout the week. This was about a conversation, having a conversation and finding solutions to the problems. Now, the organizer did not call this a protest today. The goal was to stand up against police brutality and systemic racism in our country. Reverend Stretch Sanders, who created the event, even talked about possible legislation to help hold law enforcement accountable when it comes to the use of force. He said this wasn't the first step in finding solutions, and it won't be the last. Today's time and place is about us coming together, hearing some messages that's gonna wake us up. That's right. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of being, uh, of being, of being scared and, and being asleep and not really understanding what it's going to take for us to come together as a people and as people to change our communities and our conditions. Uh, speakers talked for a few hours and some petitions were circulating. A vigil was also held for George Floyd and others who have lost their lives. One speaker we also talked to said George Floyd changed the world and has a lot more people noticing the problems our country faces. Overall, this event was very peaceful. The organizer says this uh, whole event will hopefully unify the community. Reporting live in historic West Las Vegas, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.